you're trying to identify some moment that most reminds you of what's happening in the country today, the, 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 the context of the beginning of this next presidency, where, where would you go with that? I think Jackson is easily the closest example. Andrew Jackson scared a lot of people. He scared a lot of the old elites because he seemed to be breaking with what many people considered long settled uh, ways in which to pass power and to act once you were in power. He was seen as both bringing in the very rough side of society, uh, which scared a lot of the elites, but also someone who wasn't going to be bound by rules. And, and that combination was very volatile for many people. And ultimately, Jackson then turns out to be, uh, aside from some uh, certain dimensions of his presidency, um, uh, look pretty dubious, and certainly his attitudes about certain groups of people. But in the end, he's also a very historic figure. He certainly listed among the great presidents. I, I think if you're a Native American, you might not agree with that. Uh, there are many people who object to that. He couldn't be more un-PC. I mean, he yes. is, I mean, he is just, he... And that's another similarity. Check the boxes, check the boxes, yes, mm -hmm. and for us. But within, within the context of his time, he was a powerfully attractive person to a very large uh, part of the American populace. <laughs>